Hi, Dr. Robert Hoyt here, uh, chiropractic physician. Uh, I just wanted to run something by you. This, this is something that I've never done before, something that I've never really uh, thought about, and it's just been running through my head the last day or so. So, um, the thing that came across my mind is that uh, there are a lot of us people, a lot of you people, I should say, and that doesn't include me, um, that are uh, what are we've termed baby boomers. Now, the reason I'm not a baby boomer is because I'm not young enough. You baby boomers are actually younger than I am. Uh, fortunately, there are a lot of the things that I know how to do that I learned early on, early enough on, that I could start doing it uh, and actually keep myself in uh, pretty good condition uh, and stay younger as a result of the things that I learned. So I'm going to have to just touch on a few things at a time and you guys please let me know if this is, these are things that you'd be interested in. Let me just fill you in on uh, some, some of the obvious. What is it that makes me, makes you age? What is it that makes it so that you don't age? And uh, obviously, you've been told that uh, about every seven years you're a whole new person because all of your cells have divided and uh, replaced themselves and you're renewed, you're new again. But what happens as you age? You see, the thing that makes you age is when you don't replace those cells every seven years. What is it that makes it so that you do or don't replace the cells? What can you do to make it so that you do? Well, here's the, the actual process that it goes through. In the cell itself, you have DNA, that little double helix. One goes one way and one goes the other. And then across in between, there's kind of a lattice work of uh, chemicals, um, proteins and sugars that... Uh, uh, create your, your DNA. Half of it came from mom, half of it came from dad. And uh, they got it from their parents. And now at the end of that DNA, there's a little screw-on piece, it looks like, if you could see it, a little end cap um, called a telomere. In order for the cell to divide, it requires an enzyme called telomerase and you only produce that enzyme if there is a telomere. With aging, genetics deteriorate. And when they deteriorate, that cell, that uh, telomere gets a little shorter. When the cell telomere gets, uh, when the uh, DNA gets short enough that there isn't a telomere, that cell doesn't divide anymore. And the cells, that happens to the cells, um, pretty close together. So when one of them is that way, they all begin to get that way. We were taught throughout the years that when that telomere is gone and the cells stop dividing, you live until the cells are gone and then you die. But as time has gone along, we found out that there's another piece associated with that. That other piece is the other thing that stops. It isn't just the, how far the telomere recedes. But it's a hormone, a pituitary hormone that uh, is in your head uh, where the pituitary is um, producing growth hormone, human growth hormone or HGH. Human growth hormone does what it's told by the uh, hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus gets its message from the cell itself. So the reason that we lose the DNA is because we're not producing growth hormone. If we get the growth hormone back any way that we can get it back, the telomere will the uh, the DNA will grow long enough that it will have a telomere again. Then the cell will sell, send messages to the hypothalamus, and the hypothalamus will send messages to the pituitary and any time the pituitary is asked to, any time in your life that it's asked to, it will produce a growth hormone which sends a message to the liver and the liver uh, produces uh, some stuff called um, um, insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1. I had to stop and think. 
and uh, it then sends all of, the, of its data all of this chemical out into your system attached to a protein that lasts 10 or 12 hours incidentally the uh, growth hormone that you put into your system only lasts 5 to 7 minutes goes to the liver and that job is done but after it stimulates the liver to grow to the Ig to the uh, insulin-like growth factor one, uh, it goes attaches to a protein and goes to your entire system, and then the protein drops off and it rejuvenates the cell wherever it is. There you have it. That is really the nuts and bolts of what has to happen. Now the next part is what do I have to do? Well, I do know the answer to that. I know the things that you can do and the things that will help with that and I'll let you know later if you say that you would like it. Uh, so uh, fill me in. You can uh, find all of this stuff on um, Facebook and Twitter and all of those places. I'm, I'm putting these uh, uh, videos there instead of emailing them to you directly uh, so that you'll know where it is. Now I wasn't supposed to be in the clinic today and I thought about this and I came down here and did it I'm sorry I'm not dressed in my uh, pretty clothes, but uh, I wanted you to hear about it. So fill me in. Uh, you can call us also, 541-753-5399, uh, leave a message with Joyce, and uh, one of us doctors will call you. Bye for now.